and, and, and even when mechanical things happen, the mechanics, you know, Fanny, we have to call the mechanics to the line. And God will give me insight uh -huh. how to get the job done. And, and it amazes me. I'm in awe. Because I know it's not of me. It's because of the anointing. It's because of the power of God. Rest, ruling, and abide in my life. And I, and I acknowledge the power of God. And I acknowledge the strength of God. God's anointing. I mean, from the beginning with Adam and Eve. God anointed them. When he made them, he anointed them. Right. Dust of the ground takes moisture to form. Right. So that moisture had to come from somewhere because it hadn't come from the ground yet yeah. for the Garden of Eden. So that came from Jesus. Amen. So he had anointed them to do a work. Yeah. But they didn't follow instructions. But even after they were kicked out, God still gave them the anointing to be kept. Uh -huh. How many of you have been kicked out of things sometimes? Uh -huh. Y'all, Yo, you know God has instructed you to do things and then uh, you don't do the right thing and, and, you, and you kicked out, so to speak, because the anointing leaves you. And you have to gather yourself and say, oh, let me come to myself and go back to my father. Because I've, I've, I've become exalted within myself. And now it's time for me to get back in where I need to be, in the place that God can continue to flow and anoint me. And so that anointing comes again and we come to ourselves and we begin to flow in the things of God. Amen. Oh, how we want to flow in the things of God. God's anointing. Amen. Look, at, look at Moses. Well, how God anointed him uh -huh. to do a work for him. Right. But then when he called on him to do it, he wanted to give excuses. Yeah. Uh -huh. But the time when it was time for Aaron to speak for him, he began to speak himself. Uh -huh. God knows where the anointing lies. Right. God knows the anointing that he's put in you. Yeah. And the people, uh -huh. sometimes people, will take your anointing. Uh -huh. Will cause you to do things that you should not do. Uh -huh. They provoked Moses to smoke the rock. Yeah. And God came to him and said, you're not going to enter into Canaan, but you're going up higher. Yeah. Because you saw him later on the Mount of Transfiguration. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. Let us go to the scripture. Amen. Because you're not getting with me this morning. So we're going to go on into the word. Right. Isaiah 10 and 27. Go ahead and read. Okay. Isaiah 10 and 27 reads, And it shall come to pass in that day. And it shall come to pass in that day. That his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder. Yes. And his yoke from off thy neck. Yes. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Wow. Uh -huh. All of us, at some time or another, have became yoked. Come on, son. Come through it. That's all right. Get We become yoked with something. Some kind of burden. Some kind of sickness. The Bible says there are some sicknesses that are not unto them. Some will take you there, but you go up higher. But we're yoked with something. We're yoked with, 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 uh, 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 uh. Troubles, uh -huh. troubled minds. Yes. We go through things, sometimes every day we go through things that trouble our minds. Uh -huh. And we say, Lord, I just need just a little peace. Yes. Yes. I just need just a little peace. Yes. God, give me a little peace. We go through the motions of what we do, trying to get peace. We, peace. Uh, if you're like me, you, you, outside of, of, of God, sometimes we, we get in ourselves and we seek peace in working out. We think that will take away the stress. Yeah. But I found that peace only comes by Jesus Christ. That's it. Amen. Because he told me in the word that I am the prince of peace. So I fall on my knees and I say, God, come and, and, and take this yoke from off my neck. Let me be loose. Let me, let me be free in you. I, don't, I no longer want to uh, uh, depend on the things of the world. Uh -huh. 
Years ago when I was in the world, I, I sought after women. Amen. Uh -huh. For peace. Uh -huh. And I found out that it's not in women. No, it's not. Oh, no, no. That I can find peace. Some of you are seeking it in men. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But the only peace you can find in serenity you can find is in Jesus. When you get down on your knees and you give your will up over to the Lord and allow him to come in and take away the yokes from off your neck. We're yoked and sometimes we, we take the yokes off. Uh, uh, that, what was that werewolf movie where they had them things around the neck? Underworld. Where they had to, if you, they tried to turn into a werewolf that the spikes would kill them. Sometimes we put the yoke back on. God has freed you from that thing. Woo, hallelujah, glory! You get home and you go in the drawer and take it out and put another one on. And put yourself back in bondage. And God said, whom the Son has set free is free indeed. you free, but you're causing yourself to be in bondage. Bondage in the mind. Oh my God. Young people, young people, young people, young people. In bondage in your mind. It's time for school. But you want to find love on the two-way street. And most of the time, it's taking you away from not only God, but it's taking away, taking you away from your studies. It's taking your focus of where you would be. God wants to elevate you. But the enemy wants to attract you. He wants to yoke your mind. So where when you even open your study book, your mind is on the girl. Or your mind is on the man, on the boy. She don't have no house, nothing. She don't either. And your mind is on them, and God is saying, but I want to elevate you. And you get these things through your parents. They speak to you, tell you, hey, because they see where you're going. What you young people don't know is 